Hello and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of Wednesday, October 28th, 2020. Well, President Trump says that he will get, we will get the best stimulus package possible, but it will only be after the elections. Plus, the White House says that the pandemic is over says the renowned scientist Ivanka Trump and keep in mind she's not a scientist Pelosi wrote a letter on Tuesday saying that Republicans have failed the American people and the life of the democracy Democrat Congressman Max Rose says that Pelosi is making a mistake by not accepting the 1.92 trillion dollar stimulus offer from the Republicans Congressman Rose also says that the American people can't wait any longer. They need a stimulus package now. They can't wait until for one for after elections. Many of the benefits from our previous stimulus package will be expiring at the end of this year, and that will cause additional hardship for Americans in this great country. The Congress, basically, um, the Senate and the House representatives have have already left D.C. If they're not out campaigning for their jobs, they're on vacation yet again. So thank you to everyone for allowing them to go to paying for them to go on vacation again. They take more vacations than they should. I mean, come on, we're in a pandemic and they're going to leave and go on vacation when people are out there starving and dying and going homeless. I mean, what is wrong with our Senate and our House representatives? Okay, before the senators left on vacation, they they voted in favor of Major General John Shaw to be the new Lieutenant General of the Space Force. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. The Space Force. The Space Force was actually founded on December of 2019, and it was created by Trump. And basically, um, what it is, is it's supposed to be space. Uh, defending America and its allies from space. So, uh, I don't know what to really say about that one because I don't think we have spaceships and stuff like that. We just have an international space station that I know of. But, we'll find out more as time goes on. It's a sad day in Chicago because the politicians have banned indoor dining and it snowed there yesterday. And so that basically means that outdoor dining is also not available. This will affect the restaurants and the employees of said restaurants in Chicago very badly because they will be forced to close their doors and their employees will become unemployed. That is going to hurt Chicago and devastate them very bad. On Tuesday, Trump says, after elections, we will get a the best stimulus package we can get he also acknowledges that the second stimulus check and package will not happen until after elections Trump and his press secretary Katie McNanny both say that Pelosi is adding unneeded and unwanted articles to the COVID relief bill that have nothing to do with the pandemic like giving undocumented immigrants stimulus checks. In employee's letter to the Democrats on Tuesday, she said that the Republicans failed America because they choose not to listen to science. They, so basically, our Republicans aren't listening to what science says how it's going to get worse, and the signs around them are actually showing that it's actually getting worse. Pelosi is waiting on a counteroffer because she says the current offer on the table is not good enough for the American people. <laughs> Pelosi's all or nothing approach is being criticized by her own Democratic Party. Max Rose, Congressman of New York, said Pelosi is making a mistake by not accepting the Republicans' $1.92 trillion offer. Last I heard, I thought it was $1.9 trillion, and now it's $1.92 trillion, so it's getting up there a bit. 
And if you remember, two months ago, the Republicans didn't want to do anything. And now because of the sheer force of our arguments, as well as the obvious pain of the American people, they have moved their nothing up to $1.92 trillion. And yet, Nancy Pelosi still says that is not good enough. Because they're still fighting over the language that goes with the testing, tracing, and uh, treatment for COVID-19, as well as money for state and local funding. Because she wants to allow these states to use this money for even pre-COVID related problems that they incurred before it happened that might have to go on with their pension and other things like that when it should actually be used to actually save the first responders that, so they don't lose their jobs like the police and the firefighters, the paramedics and the doctors and so on those lines. There are currently 23 million Americans collecting unemployment benefits and there are two unemployed Americans for every one job opening. This is according to the Board of Job Statistics. And the CDC eviction ban expires at the end of the year. And there is particular, there is basically about 35 million Americans that are basically going to be out on their butt because the, the, um, at, because the, that rent risk, basically they can't afford their rent because of jobs are going, going closed. Well, big businesses thrive. And this, this is one reason why I don't really support the Republicans because they're all about big business. They're not about the small people. I mean, if you've noticed, I mean, I heard a while ago that I'm not sure if this is true or not, but it, it probably is that basically, um, there's this diaper service that opened up. I'm going this, this song that's lines of big business. There's a small diaper business that opened up that's actually offering great prices on cloth diapers as well as regular diapers. Amazon wanted to buy them out and they told them no. So Amazon dropped their prices of diapers to basically choke them out. And then once that small business went under, they jacked the price of diapers right back up. That, that's why I don't support big business because they crush out all the small competitors that don't have a chance of standing against them. And that's not right. But this is just my commentary on the idea of Republicans in big business. And you're more than welcome to comment in my comment bar below about what you think. Until then, I'm tired to receive your comments and see what they say so I can reply to them. I will wish you guys a excellent Wednesday. I hope you guys have food in your stomachs. You guys are staying safe out there. And remember, we're in this together. We're going to always be in this together because the rich and the, pro and the politicians don't care about us. So we need to take care of each other. Until next time. You have a wonderful day.